Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Flora and I'm so grateful that you're here. We are starting the week off in the gym. I've been doing Natasha Ocean's move guide for over seven weeks now and I have to say this is the most fun I've had in any type of strength training and believe me, I've tried it all. It's constantly challenging me to do better, to learn new ways of moving and also new ways of experiencing muscle soreness because after a session like this, you better believe me that I have some muscle pain, but it's all worth it. It's really fun to see how much more my body is capable of and how most of the time the limits do not come from a physical barrier, but a mental one. When I want to give up in my head, I know that my body is only at 40 to 50%, like David Goggins says. And to push further and evolve, that is when I have to keep going. But I know when my body says it's enough, then it truly is. And this is what I've been trying to follow and it's changing the game for me. Breakfast that day was amazing. I made some blueberry compote from just frozen blueberries, some agave syrup and lemon zest. I've been seeing whipped ricotta everywhere on social media, so I just had to give it a try and make a vegan version. This turned out so good. It's from firm tofu, coconut yogurt, agave syrup, lemon juice, lemon zest and cinnamon. I'm so excited. I had it with this amazing blueberry compote and I literally couldn't get enough. I had to go for an extra slice of bread because it was just super duper yummy. Oh my god. Have another one. For lunch I made an easy pesto pasta salad. I started off by cooking some whole grain fusilli. I'm soaking my garlic because it can remove the bitterness. I have some basil which is like loosely a cup. Then I made a quick pesto in the food processor from fresh basil, spinach leaves, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper to taste, extra virgin olive oil, grated garlic, cashews, some cold water and lemon juice to boost that iron absorption. Mia! <laughs> I mixed it together with the cooled fusilli pasta, some cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, red onions, sunflower seeds, capers, and that was it. It was ready for me to dive right in. I have to show you my new set because I love this so much. I got this from Pool and Bear. I'm, I'm in love. I love the color. I never wear this color, but it's just really nice. We're gonna go strawberry picking, which is one of my favorite thing to do. Um, and we do it every year. So yeah, let's go. So I have this dream that one day I will live at a place where I grow my own fruits and vegetables and we would garden with my children. <laughs> This picture in my head just feels so peaceful and strawberry picking really reminds me of this. It's so therapeutic. I love seeing all the kids picking the strawberries and just hanging around with their family and it helps me calm my mind and not stress about things that won't matter in a few years. Then I went for some pizza and yeah, I get it. It was a really Italian themed day, but I'm not mad about it. Maybe it was unconsciously on purpose because I really want to travel somewhere, but because of my dissertation, I cannot do that for a while. But yeah, this place serves amazing vegan pizzas. If you're ever in Budapest, definitely try this place. I had a margarita pizza with some vegan mozzarella, capers and olives. It was an incredible meal with incredible company. And summer is also here, so really no reason to complain.
I don't love eating a proper meal before the gym because I love to work out in the morning and I don't usually have the time to digest the food so I always go for something light like banana or apples with peanut butter, yogurt bowl or chia seed bowl or just a quick drink. I've been really into drinking this combo lately, just spirulina, wheatgrass powder, lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. It was kind of my pre-workout as I was headed to the gym right after this drink and it was leg day, so I really needed that mental resilience. You fill my head with roses I can't help but dream away Standing on a field with you And flowers everywhere I really crave some coconut yogurt but I couldn't find any in the shops that day so I just went with this passion fruit one. I mixed in some unsweetened cocoa powder, protein powder and maca. I had a perfectly ripe mango to top this thing with and I also added a bunch of strawberries, some granola, cashews and walnuts. I also had some sourdough which was calling my name in the shop, so naturally I had to have some. I spread it some hummus onto two slices along with salt, pepper, a touch of extra virgin olive oil and sauerkraut. This sourdough bread is just so good that I had to have some this morning. Cheers. I'm gonna have a meeting now with my supervisor about the project I'm writing up. I'm gonna get some feedback, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> the rest of the day I just have to work on my dissertation and incorporate the feedback I'm getting. And now on to the yogurt bowl. My kind of yogurt bowl is when the toppings are way more than yogurt. <laughs> For lunch I put together a super easy nourish ball. First I cooked a head of broccoli and some brown rice. I marinated tofu in olive oil, curry powder, soy sauce, rice vinegar, garlic powder, chili flakes and sesame seeds. And then fried these on the stove for around 5 to 8 minutes until all the sides became this nice golden brown and the kitchen smelled absolutely amazing. Then I put together my bowl from brown rice, broccoli, tofu, some pickled cucumber slices, onions and half an avocado. I sprinkled on some more garlic powder, added a splash of extra virgin olive oil and enjoyed my delicious meal. Guys, I reached 10k! I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. Never actually knew if it was gonna happen so it's like ah! I'm so freaking happy and grateful. Just thank you. Thank you so much. It's so easy to compare myself to bigger YouTubers. Like, takes all the joy. So I want to remind myself that this is my journey and I, I get to live it however I want to live it. And this, for me, this is a huge accomplishment. So not like you need an occasion, but I'm gonna bake cake now. I love crepes, so I'm gonna make like a crepe cake. Yeah, I have a lot of strawberries, so we're gonna whip something up from that. And this crepe cake is actually super duper easy to make. The biggest downside is that it's time consuming because you need to fry each crepes individually. But trust me, it's so worth it. All the measurements for the batter is down below if you want to give it a try. And to not be bored, I was watching Emily in Paris while frying my crepes. I'm 
After using up all the batter and letting them cool down a bit, I put together the cake, I spread some strawberry jam on each crab and added some cut up strawberries at every few crabs. I added a large amount of that cream cheese on top along with more strawberries and then it was a big moment cutting into the cake. It might be my favorite part apart from eating. This never fails to impress me. Thank you guys for making my dreams come true. Mm. This is a cake dedicated to you guys. That day for breakfast I made some mushrooms on avocado toast. I fried them with curry powder, garlic powder, soy sauce and a little bit of olive oil for around 4 to 5 minutes each side. For the avocado spread I just smashed a ripe avocado with extra virgin olive oil, garlic powder and nutritional yeast. What a color! Oh my god! I also made a quick smoothie from banana, frozen pineapple, frozen raspberries, maca and protein powder, flax seeds and soy milk. Ooh! Mmm! Delicious! These look so appetizing! So cute. I recorded a short that day for Instagram, a chocolate chia seed pudding, so that was my dinner basically, but no complaining because it was a winner. Top with some more kiwis, bananas, strawberries, walnuts and enjoyed my night. Next morning I was in the mood to eat something small before my workout so I had a super quick yogurt ball with granola and strawberries. That day was the second lower body day of the week and there were barely any people in the gym so it was super fun. The gym is truly my me time. It's the time when I get to listen to something nice, a podcast or a song that makes me happy. I get to move my body and I get to take up space. I get to have time for myself which is so needed because I sit in front of the computer all day and it can get pretty overwhelming. So the gym time is kind of like an escape time.
After the workout, I was craving some nice cream and I made one from frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, protein powder, cocoa powder, chia seeds, maca powder, cinnamon, some coconut yogurt, peanut butter and soy milk. Blended everything up in a food processor till it was nice and creamy intended <laughs> and served in a coconut bowl with some kiwi and strawberries super delicious and perfect for a summer day for lunch i made some really yummy sweet potato and potato veggies in the oven I also added an onion and seasoned the whole thing with curry powder, smoked paprika, pepper, salt, garlic powder, olive oil, mixed everything well and baked these in the oven at around 180 Celsius degrees for around 25 minutes. Meanwhile those were baking, I put together a very easy vegan patty. I used chickpeas, firm tofu, fresh parsley, lemon juice, chickpea flour, onion, grated garlic as well as some olive oil looking so good as seasoning i use salt pepper curry powder smoked paprika and garlic powder and then just blend it up the whole thing using the food processor then i roll them into balls flatten them with my hand on a parchment lined baking sheet and these went into the oven as well to boost the nutrient density even more i made a quick cashew sauce and then i just assembled a little bowl out of everything started off with a large handful of sorrel squeezed on some lemon lemon juice, topped with the potatoes, poured over the sauce and finally added the patties. These patties turned out so incredibly good and they were really easy to make and they are baking amazingly in the oven so you don't even have to fry them if you don't want to because I prefer doing it in the oven because it's less work for me but I think you can definitely fry it if you want to. So good. I only buy vegan cheese when it's on sale and this was one of those occasions. What I love to do with it the most is grilled cheese sandwiches. So this time I spreaded some of that cashew sauce onto toast breads, topped with some tomato slices, grated vegan cheese and finally some grilled tofu for extra protein. To make me feel more satiated I toasted these in the sandwich toaster and they turned out so freaking good. How amazing with the cashew sauce. This is like next level thing. Mm. Magnifique. The next day I had some extra time because I didn't go to the gym so I made waffles. Waffle time! I blended together banana, cinnamon, protein powder, oat flour, oat milk, peanut butter and baking powder. Once it was nice and smooth, I fried them in the waffle maker. Of course, you can make these as pancakes if you don't have a waffle iron, I think it would be just as incredible. I topped these beauties with coconut yogurt, some stewed berries and peanut butter. Wow, it was so incredibly good and easy to make. I had the best start to my day and it was super satisfying. Enjoying myself some little kombucha. It's pineapple, apple, and coconut flavored. Mmm, good one. For lunch, I made these amazing tacos. First, I just used my hand to make these strips out of oyster mushrooms to then fry them on the stove with olive oil, garlic powder, soy sauce and curry powder. Mix together tomatoes with fresh parsley and grated garlic. And then all that left is to assemble my tacos. It might have been the best meal of the entire week. It was so incredibly good and it literally took me 15 minutes since I only had to fry the mushrooms. So I found this in Lidl the other day. This is the best thing I had, maybe ever. A mochi mango sorbet, as you can see. Mm. Everything about this is a 10 out of 10. Mm. This reminds me how many things I have never tried food-wise. It would be so cool to have the money to just travel around the world and try different cuisines and experience food in a whole other level. This is one of my biggest dreams. And we have some round two, some strawberries and another mochi, yay! Dinner was a lazy stir fry. Mm. 
I cooked some soba noodles and then I fried some onion, garlic and ginger on the stove, seasoned with garlic powder, curry powder, smoked paprika, salt, pepper and soy sauce. Added the mushrooms and shredded tofu and let them fry away. I then added spring onions, corn and finally mixed everything together with the soba noodles. I topped my plate with some sesame seeds and added sauerkraut as well and that was my dinner. Thank you guys so so much for spending some time with me, always really grateful for you, sending you so much love and sunshine and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!